everybody, welcome to another episode of chapter 11. Erin, your last video actually made me laugh out loud. When I was seeing all the comments that you were putting on my videos, I just thought you were just being your usual commenting self because you always comment on my videos and it's nice and we chat and stuff. And then you sent me the message to say ignore it because you were doing things for your video. And then I knew that I was in for a treat because you makes me laugh. I'm sorry for the echoiness of this room. I try not to make videos in here too often because of the echoiness, because it's just wooden floor and high ceilings. But we do what we can. I've got Juno in the other room crying because I've locked her in her little crate because she needs to have her afternoon sleep and she won't. Back to the actual subject at hand. We're here to talk about books and writing and friendships and everything. So let's get on to that. So I'm going to address the question that Erin asked me first. So I've got fluff in my mouth. Um, about what I need to do um, before I actually start writing because like everyone I think everyone's got things that they have to do before they actually start a certain task. Who really can do the things that they want to do and need to do just off the bat? I definitely can't. So to answer the question before I do anything, writing or anything like uni work or anything, I have to get everything else out of the way. Um, that generally means I have to eat, I have to make a coffee, um, I have to check all of my internet social media outlets. So I um, Hotmail, I Facebook, I Twitter, I YouTube, catch up videos, I tumble sometimes, sometimes I'll even do a bit of Pinterest and put some things into my inspiration board. Yeah, I kind of just, I collect all the information from the world around me that I need um, before I can actually sit down to write because I need to just know that there's nothing that I've missed. I have swept everything away, like everything is in my mind, locked up, and then I can just write. So usually before I actually start writing, I will just do all of the things, get rid of everything that might kind of distract me later on in the day, and then I can just go for it and just write. Erin, I love the fact that you have to have your hair done before you write, because I'm just not, I mean, I'm just, I throw my hair up. Every day is just like a mess. So that is not one of my requirements for writing, but I think it's fantastic that that is what you have to do. Um, I was going to also talk about in this video about just lengths of work. I've always had this thing, and this is possibly why I never really got into writing at school. Even to this day, I can't write short stories. I just cannot do it. I can't write a story that doesn't stretch over 50,000 words. I can't do it. For my uni course and my creative writing and everything, I had to write several short stories um, and I just could not. There was one in particular which I was really proud of, which I might read at some point later on in this series because sharing, caring and all that stuff. Because I just can't contain a story. When I think of a story, I can't just snippet this story into a thousand words or two thousand words. I'm like whole hog. And I only realised this when I actually started writing my first novel, that I actually excel at writing a lot. I'm not the sort of person that gets writer's block, because I just write through it. If you write, you probably know this, if you don't write, then I sound like a moron. But trust me, once you start writing characters, you don't really, you take a back seat, you don't have any control over what they do because you've created these characters. Your brain actually, subconsciously, makes, obviously you are doing it, I'm not saying that it writes itself, but you don't like consciously think about what they're doing. You, you type and then they're, they're just, they go, they're just gone. I have a few friends that can only write short stories and I think that's fantastic because short stories, I'm just super impressed when people can do them, but I cannot do them. Just complete struggle. Following on from this trend that we're setting, Erin, um, my next question for you is something that I've always wanted to do a video on, so I figure we'll do this together. How do you stop yourself from falling in love with the characters you write? For me, when I write characters, um, love interests, or just friends, I just have, like, I develop this all encompassing, kind of heart wrenching obsession with them. Even though I've written them, I suppose it's all in my head because I'm writing people that I find attractive, but I cannot not fall in love 
with my characters. And I also cannot not fall in love with characters in books in general. Just obsessively. It's, it's awful. Every story that I read in every series where there is um, a love story, because I like to read teenage and paranormal love stories. I'm just putting that out there. Come on, we all like them. Um, I fall in love with the main character. Possibly the greatest love of my life. Probably two, I'll say two. Sirius Black. Not in the films, in the book. When Sirius died, I was actually emotionally heart... I was like actually heartbroken. Actually heartbroken. Um, the other character that I am in love with, actually... I keep saying actually, but I really am in love with this character, is Dmitry Belkov from Vampire Academy series, because I love that series. But Jesus, Dmitry is just like... It's hot stuff. So Erin, how do you stop falling in love with the characters and books? Is it possible? I don't know if it's possible. Do you do it? I'm sure you do it. I'm sure we've talked about this before. Tell me what your greatest literary loves are because I want to know. And I guess I should leave this here. I didn't, I'm sorry this is so rambly. This is actually, I didn't plan this video in the slightest. There's been a lot of hand movements and a lot of words like actually and like and um because I do that a lot. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. This is chapter 11 and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.